Welcome to Neuroly. Let's pick our brains. This video will cover the fundamental parts of a neuron, including the soma, the cell body, the neuronal membrane, the cytoskeleton, the axon, the synapse, and dendrites. The neuron is a type of cell, and it's the building block of the nervous system. However, before understanding how neurons interact with one another, we must define what exactly a neuron is. Let's begin with the soma. The soma is the cell body of a neuron and contains the same organelles found in all animal cells. The key organelles include the nucleus, the rough endoplasmic reticulum, also known as the ER, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, if you watched the previous video, yes, Golgi is back, and the mitochondria. The nucleus is contained within a double membrane called the nuclear envelope and within the nucleus is our DNA, also known as deoxyribonucleic acid, and that holds our genetic information. The rough endoplasmic reticulum consists of membrane stacks speckled with ribosomes and synthesizes proteins. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not contain ribosomes and performs various different functions such as regulation of the cell. And the Golgi apparatus is a stack of membrane-enclosed discs that processes and packages proteins for their functions. The mitochondrion is the site of cellular respiration and produces adenosine triphosphate, also known as ATP, which is the cell's energy source. The neuronal membrane is the barrier that encloses the neuron and performs one of the neuron's most defining actions, transmitting action potentials. The proteins on this barrier pump substances in and out of the neuron, allowing electrical signals to pass through the brain and the body. The cytoskeleton, which gives structure to the neuron, consists of big 20 nanometer microtubules that contain the protein tubulin, 5 nanometer microfilaments that contain the protein actin, and 10 nanometer neurofilaments that resemble the bones of the skeleton and are mechanically strong. The axon is the first of these structures that is unique to neurons and is specialized for the transfer of information in the nervous system. These boxes on the axon are myelin sheaths which insulate the axon and increase the speed of a signal. The gaps between myelin sheaths are called nodes of Rambier. Signals jump from one node to the next. The beginning of an axon that receives information is the axon hillock and the axon terminal is the end of an axon, where axons transmit information. The point of contact between the axon and the receiving end of information is the synapse. The synapse is one of the most important parts of a neuron, with presynaptic and postsynaptic sides. The gap between these sides is the synaptic cleft. Information is transmitted at a synapse through chemical signals called neurotransmitters, which cross the gap in vesicles. The dendrites of a neuron are covered with synapses and contain protein receptors that detect neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft. These dendrites increase the surface area available for receiving incoming information. Synaptic transmission is one of the primary ways neurons communicate with each other, which allows our brains and body to interact in fascinating ways, which we will learn more about next week.